welcome back to my channel welcome to another video guys i just posted my valentine's day video it is valentine's day as we speak so happy valentine's day i think this is such a cute little holiday just moisturizing i just did a mask and took that off and i moisturized and everything i actually just took a shower and you ever like take a shower and it was like legit the best shower ever that was the best shower but anyways i got this today i think this is gonna be a little mini haul plus a tutorial i got this today at walmart this l'oreal pure clay mask and it's the yellow one my skin i don't know if you can tell on the camera it's glowing i mean glowing so um i kind of know i'm kind of interested in doing a skincare routine so if you guys are interested in seeing that then i don't know let me know in the comments i guess but i got some other things too that i'm super effing excited about because rimmel actually came out with some foundations i don't know if you guys are like new to makeup or not or whatever i don't know what the case may be but let me tell you that rimmel one of those unfortunate drugstore brands that just for some reason will not go darker than honey the shade honey and i just don't understand why so when i saw these today at walmart and they had about this is uh mocha they had like two shades after this it just washed over me like bitch you have to get this because I have not seen any videos on this. Maybe I know how people feel about, you know, buying stuff that doesn't come in like a super wide shade range. But let me tell you that I, Rimmel for me is one of those things. That I don't know why I've been wanting to try Rimmel stuff so bad. But I literally have been wanting to try Rimmel skin, like not skincare, um, foundations and stuff since I started wearing makeup and I could never because they would never go darker than the shade fucking honey. So I got two, obviously, if you can't tell, because this one I think is too light and this one I can already tell is too orange. It's gonna be too dark on me, so I think I'm just gonna mix them really because I don't know, this one just seems so light. I don't know. Alright, well, um if it looks like I need a dramatic change. I did my eyebrows off camera because my sister came up here and was talking to me about her new job and stuff and we're all really excited for her but to finish off I forgot what I was saying but I have been wanting to try Rimmel shit since forever in a day and I saw this foundation and I could not help myself it was six six almost seven dollars for these two and yeah not bad at all for the price and I opened it and guess what bitches this shit don't gotta pump but you don't gotta pour it out what the fuck is this I, I am so excited I don't have to touch anything <laughs> I'm so excited about it the last few things that I got was concealers so I think these two are supposed to be like competition for each other because they both have the little squeezy it's not gonna focus you see the squeezy little tip yeah they both have that but i've been wanting to try this maybelline one since like 2008 and you know they finally decided to hop on the wave and you know widen their shade selection so congrats maybelline fucking finally but i mean like, i wish it was like this though because it's just like a squeezy thing instead of a twist but i think you get more product in here do you? you actually get more on this one so hopefully it's good because it was what four dollars compared to the Maybelline one that was seven dollars at Walmart at least so I don't know I think I'm gonna be testing out the foundation I don't know which concealer I want to use maybe I'll use both I always do the eyes first so that's what we're gonna do my eyes are primed obviously my eyebrows have been on for a second I'm pretty excited I don't know what I'm gonna do with the eyes today do I want to use my cute as fuck palette? It's upside down. Cute AF. These are always good colors to work with, right? 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 Ooh, ooh. You know what? I'm going to stick with the theme of 
maybe not drugstore but most definitely inexpensive and of course i'm gonna go ahead and do one eye on camera and the other eye off because it's just so much easier okay i'm gonna take this color here it's called butter cake it's beautiful it's this nice uh red i'm i'm starting off with this this We'll, we'll figure out the transition later. And we're going to go ahead and get that right in the crease. Right in the crease. I don't know where I'm going with this look. We're just kind of, I'm just gonna freestyle for right now. I'm now gonna take the orange color at the top here. This is called Champs. And we're gonna use that shocker as our transition shade, which should have been done first, but whatever. Um, sometimes you do things backwards. Take a little bit more of butter cake. I love you. Oh, I'm sorry. I forget that I be watching videos while I be filming, and yeah, I'm taking just a little bit more butter cake and tapping it. I, I don't know where I'm going with this look, and I'm <laughs> I'm very curious to see how this is gonna turn out because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing right now. I'm gonna take the color mischief. This is gonna be a real simple look, I think. It's simple, but still kind of smoky. I don't know, I like dramatic eyes. If you haven't figured that out by now, then you're not watching the right person. Because I don't really like subtle looks. I'm taking this black from Focus, the NYX Perfect Filter Palette. It's the closest black that I have. Oh, what about a makeup collection video? I have so much shit in here. I don't know if people will be interested in seeing that. So this shade that I just put on my lid is called Full Zip. It's very pretty. Um, I'm probably gonna add some glitter or something on top because it's just not shiny enough. So, and when I put some lashes on, oh, that's gonna look so nice. Oh my gosh. Yes, I love when it's nice outside and I get to wear my hair out. Oof feel like a brand new person, honey. So, let me go ahead and add a lip. Perfect. This is the Sephora, this is the cream lip stain, and this is in, I don't know, I will have it um, below what the name of this is actually called, because I actually don't know. Um, I think it's either Black Currant or Black Cherry. I love it. Mm. 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 Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the foundation. So let me go ahead and pull it up online actually to see what the claims are. Yeah, this foundation comes in 16 shades. Not the best. This is actually the second to last shade. There's mocha and then there's deep mocha. Um, what are the claims of this foundation. Rimmel's most lightweight, long-lasting formula. It perfects your skin with medium buildable coverage whilst enriched, enrich, I cannot speak today, um, with buildable skin technology that doesn't clog pores, moisturizes for 24, 25 hours, 25 hours. Okay. It does feel lightweight. When I was putting it on, it really did not feel like anything. And now that everything else is on, I think that it it doesn't look bad at all, really. It's just that I'm not the biggest fan of the color selection, for one. Um, it comes with this little thing, and I don't really like it. <laughs> I wish it was a little bigger. I think it would be a little easier overall if it had, if the applicator itself was a little bigger. Um, I don't like the color selection. I did have to buy two to get a match for me, so if you're any darker than 
really deep mocha and deep mocha does it's not very dark probably deep mocha mocha i think probably is jackie Ina maybe with a little mix of deep mocha but honestly if you're darker than that i don't see this working out too well for you it felt too lightweight for me like i'm okay i like it looks nice on now and that's what everything else on when i was just applying it i was not feeling how it was looking it looked weird and it dried down relatively quickly in my opinion um, it is definitely medium to buildable coverage i do think you can get a decent coverage with this but if you're looking for full-on coverage not the foundation for you um, I will not be wearing this for 25 hours <laughs> that's not possible for me but I will wear it for a little bit longer and I will kind of just leave it in the description below how I felt about it when I go to take it off honestly truly I'm gonna say it's a no for me um, although it does look nice I'm just not the biggest fan of the color selection. I'm not the biggest fan of the applicator. And that's where the problem comes in. It looks nice, it feels nice, you can barely feel it on your skin. But for me personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the applicator. So I'm probably gonna return these. <laughs> too light and too dark, so. And I don't wanna have to mix two foundations every time I go to use this. As far as the shade selection for this foundation, I think you could go a little darker. Truthfully, I think there could be about six more shades in here six to eight more shades really you got 16 i want to say was that i say 16 or 14 between 16 and 14 i'm not going to count them again i don't feel like it but i think you could add you could probably have like 25 shades as far as the concealers go i will say that the uh, rimmel long lasting finish 24 hour breathable concealer is gonna go back to <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of this either. I did not. The applicator is nothing like the Instant Age Rind. The Instant Age Rind is much softer to apply. When you're applying it, it it's sponge like. This feels very, it felt very hard to me under my eyes and I don't, wasn't the biggest fan of that. Also, when I went to blend it out, it almost blended out to nothing. See the claims for this? Medium coverage, conceals imperfections. The cushion applicator allows for perfect blendability and on the go touch up. So. It did blend out pretty well. Um, not the best as far as, as far as concealing imperfections. I don't really have acne or anything. Oh, I will say that the foundation, I have little dark spots over in this area and I think the foundation covered it pretty well because I don't see them. So it definitely can give you a buildable coverage, but back to the concealer, I don't think this concealer was it for me. Um, it, when I blended it out, it blended out to basically nothing and I had to go and put the Maybelline on top. So I was gonna try to do a comparison video between these two, but honestly, I can tell just by the finish and just how my face is looking overall that the Instant Age Ryan is, is good. I'm really liking it so far. I think I'm gonna go back to get the shade Caramel, which is right after Golden, because Golden, although I like and it does look very nice, when I first applied it, it was very intense, very light. So that is going to be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching it if you liked it then like it share it subscribe to my channel follow my social medias all of that and go check out some of my other videos i have a decent amount of videos up and i would really love for you guys to go check some of them out so um it will be all ready for you guys to go click and watch some more of my videos that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And have a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed your lovely Valentine's Day. It, could this be considered an anti-Valentine's look? Because I think it could. I think it could. <laughs> That's it, guys. See you on the next one. This ain't a shoulder with a chip or an ego. But what you think they all man he talk. It's very seldom that you're blessed to find your equal So play my part and let you take the lead, bro, believe me